basketball tonight. The AL West, the Mariners, and the Athletics. Bottom one, Eric Chavez, bases loaded, one out. Mark McLemore plays everywhere, but here, boots it. Likely to be a double play, one run scores, base is still loaded. Mark McLemore has been just about the Mariners' most valuable player in a lot of ways, but Brett Boone would be playing second if he were healthy. And if he had been playing second, this probably would have been a double play ball. And it would open up the floodgates. Miguel Tejada, Jermaine Dye, scores from second. Tejada's eighth straight game with at least one RBI. Now got 100 RBIs on the year, 3 0 Oakland. Then Ramon Hernandez, that's a fair ball. Chavez scores. 4 0 Oakland, they would add another on a pass ball. Top of the second, 5 0 Oakland. Stan Javier. Down he goes. Carlos Guillen, down he goes. Top of the three, Tom Lampkin. Lampkin goes down, so Eric Hilgis is pitching awfully well, and then he gets Edgar Martinez. Strikes out eight and five and two-thirds. Top five, six-one Oakland. Mike Cameron, Johnny Damon. Johnny be good. Johnny is good. Boy, he's been playing a great center field for them the last couple of months. Ichiro does tag and st uh, score 6-2, bottom 5-7-2. Ramon Hernandez, two-run home run, is 12th of the year. Way back, fan trying to retrieve the ball. <laughs> what is he doing there? What is that? They're resourceful fans there in Oakland. So, Oakland winning it. Seattle now has lost three in a row for the first. Go deep to the 48th of the year earlier. Could A-Rod get to 48 as well? It's, it, it, it's way back, and it is not gone. That. Real close. A-Rod a double, drives in a run. How about Rafael Palmero? Quietly, another fantastic season. Ties the game at three. Bottom eight, tied at four. Palmero again. He's now got 44 home runs on the season. And he's now eight shy of Carl Yastrzemski, who's 23rd all-time. Palmero now, 444 career home runs as the Rangers are victorious 5-4. to four. Now, as we know, A-Rod's already got... His 20th win, bottom four, one nothing. Leadoff on hitter Marquise Grissom was 0 for 5 with four strikeouts. Mark Reds Atlantic, next batter, 0 for 5, two strikeouts. Bottom five, Jeff Revelay tying run on second. Randy, ERA 2.40. Now that leaves the N out. He had eight Ks in all. Now to the bottom of the ninth. 3 1 D backs. They look good, but Paul LaDuca Jack. Deep to left, two-run homer, ties the game at three. LaDuca's 22nd. The moment of the year at Dodger Stadium this year. Randy Johnson can't believe it, and the Dodgers have some momentum. But top of the 11th, 3-3, three, three, Danny Bautista off Mike Tremblay. And that's a home run, and Arizona has a 4-3 lead. Bottom 11, 5-3, D-backs, one on Mike Koplove. Walks Gary Sheffield on four pitches. LaDuca, look out, cough love. Sounds like something you order off the Spice Channel. Next batter, Eric Karras. 3-2 pitch, cough love. With the walk, Sean Green score. Dodgers down 1-5-4. Next batter with Mike Morgan now in. Adrian Beltre is clutch and clutches everything in life. Sheffield scores, and the man who tied the game in the bottom of the ninth, Paul LaDuca, scores, and the Dodgers win what guitarist Ryan Peeker is to Nickelback. Paul LaDuca is to L.A. Tied it off the unit in the ninth and scored the winning run in the 11th. So, the Giants can get to within a game with the D-backs for the win over the Padres. Top of one, no score, Barry Bonds. Down the first baseline, off the glove of Alex Arias. Bonds a double, he would score later on an Andres Galarraga hit. Giants up one nothing. Bottom one now, pods down one nothing. Ricky Henderson. Off Sean Estes. Goes to right center. Gonna go to the wall, Ricky. Gets a double. He's 11 hits away from 3,000. He was stranded there. Bottom seven pods down 2-0. Mike Colangelo on first. Alex Arias 
The chopper to third, and Ramon Martinez lost the ball in the lights. Colangelo to third, Arias to second. After Tim Morrell hit Ray Langford to load the bases, Jason Christensen in to face Tony Gwynn on Tony Gwynn weekend. You see the 19 mode out there in right field. Colangelo scores, Arias scores. He had a 5.5 you saw there on the infield. That's what Tony writes on his shoe. That's where he wants to put the ball between the third baseman and the shortstop. Now, in the 10th, Mike Darr. Red Sox fans remember Dave Henderson during the 86 ALCS against the Angels in Anaheim. Same play. That's Calvin Murray. Goes over the fence. Home run. Padres win their 8-1 in extra innings this season. And the Giants fail to get to within one game of the D-backs. The Giants have lost four of five overall. Tony Gwynn, career hit 31-39. On the 20th anniversary of his fifth no-hitter, top four, Shane Reynolds to Todd Hundley. First of two homers for Hundley. Reynolds allowed three runs on six hits in five innings. They're loaded in the fifth for pinch hitter Orlando Merced off Kevin Tappany. Moises Salou scores. Vinny Castilla comes in. They wave Richard Hidalgo, a bases-clearing triple for Merced, who now has a club record 15 RBIs as a pinch hitter this year. We're tied at three. Next up, Craig Biggio to third. Bill Miller coming home. Merced just beats the tag. Astros up 4-3. Tappany tag for six runs on five hits and four and a third. Two batters later, Jeff Bagwell. He doubles to left. Biggio scores. So does Julio Logo. Two-run double for Bagwell, and the Astros win 8-4, so Chicago drops seven back of Houston in the NL Central race. Shane Reynolds gets his eighth victory in his last nine starts against the Cubs, who haven't beaten Reynolds since August of 98. Fred McGriff homers for the third straight game. Crime Dogs got 10 RBI in those three games. Everybody chasing St. Louis for the wild card. Cardinals in Pittsburgh looking for their ninth straight win. Todd Ritchie trying to snap that streak. Top three, Kerry Robinson takes off safely under Jason Kendall's high throw. Stolen base number 10 for Robinson. Look again, Kendall cannot grip the baseball. Drew takes advantage. He was at the plate. Lines the Richie pitch into right. Robinson going to come in. That's manufacturing our run, people. Cardinals up 2-1. Next batter, it's that Albert Pujols guy. Richie's pitch in the dirt. Drew going for second. Kendall got a better grip this time, but the throw is late. Pujol now with a runner in scoring position, and this guy is a machine. Drew comes in. 15th RBI this week for Pujols. He's 10 for 23 in his last six games. Cardinals win. Bob Boone. Managing the Reds, of course, a pitching matchup. Ruben Cavedo against Jose Azevedo. Yes, please. This is Adam Dunn. Solo home run off of Ruben Cavedo. Reds up one zip. And now it's Jose Azevedo facing Jeff Jenkins. Bottom one. And down he goes. And then Jeremy Brunitz, down he goes. Bottom of the fourth. Jenkins up against Azevedo again. And strikes out again. Next man up, Richie Sexton. Down he goes. I think this Acevedo, guys, I think he can do some things. Yes, he can. He's going up against the right lineup to get strikeouts. <laughs> Brewers set the Major League single season record Friday and uh, Acevedo seven strikeouts. Jenkins, Burnitz, and Sexton each going down twice. Reds win at 3-1. Dunn, you saw his 15th home run, the first Cincy rookie to hit 15 homers in a season since Gary Reedus back in 1982. But, but he's, he's been eight weeks in the big leagues. Tonight, the Indians and the Twins. Charlie Manuel observing the moment of silence before the game. Kenny Lofton having some problems here, Brian, with his footwork. Well, let's take a look at Radke's throwing to Kenny Lofton. He has that little leg kick, you see. Going to lift that front leg. And Radke gets some kind of catches him off balance. Kind of swinging, kind of funky there. Now in the fifth inning, he gets it started a little bit sooner. Watch that leg go up, and it's right on time. And timing, got it down, base hit the right field. And it's one to so Cleveland's up one zip. Here's Bottom five, A.J. Brzezinski's on second. Luis Rivas, that's a base hit. And the game is now tied at two runs apiece. In between the fifth and the sixth, Jock Jones asking Jim Tomey, hey, man, how you hit all those home runs? Tomey says, this is how I do it. 48, that's now number one of the American League. One more than A-Rod. Jones says, you know, you told me how to do that. <laughs> you know, the Twins are required by law to have three web gems a game, and here they are. Holbert Cabrera to Rivas. Tremendous play there. Now, Kenny Lofton's going to try and get one past Jacques Jones. I think not. 
Beautiful running catch. And now Omar Vizquel, robbed by Doug Mankiewicz. Maybe your AL Gold Glove winner at first base. And what's a web jam without Roberto Alomar and Omar Vizquel? Brzezinski, the second Alomar to Vizquel. Like ballet over there at second yeah. base. It, it, this isn't a double play combination. This is the Bolshoi. <laughs> Into the Bolshoi later? No. I'm, still, I'm, I'm still amazed at looking at that. <laughs> Low. Now a starter because he was so good as a reliever. <laughs> First start since 98, taking Pedro's spot in the rotation. Jason, how do you do? Well, Derek Lowe shows you why they think he has starter stuff. Here's a strikeout and a changeup. He didn't get to use that changeup out of the bullpen. Strikeout on the big breaking ball down and away. Damien Easley gets fooled by another changeup on the outside corner. And now another strikeout on the breaking ball. Derek Lowe's got a chance to be in the Red Sox rotation next year for reasons other than his relief work, pal. <laughs> Say, Joe, I want to start. I don't like the bullpen. Top seven. Shane Halter off of Rolando Arrojo. His 11th of the year. It's 3-2 Detroit. Bottom seven. Shea Hildenbrand up. Damon easily ranging and in time. Still 3-2. Matt Anderson. Clocked at 103 miles per hour on one of his pitches. Manny Ramirez ending up to fly out. The Tigers win at 4-3. So Derek Lowe's first start in the majors since 98. Pitched well, but did not get a decision. Tonight returns with the Yanks and the Orioles as Sean Douglas goes for his first career win. Top of the third, it's 1-0 Baltimore. Douglas facing Scott Brocious. Strike three. Todd Green, down he goes. Alfonso Soriano Douglas, five innings. Looked good. Struck out seven. Gave up only one run. Third inning. Sterling Hitchcock, Jason, maybe a little bit rattled. Yeah, Hitchcock in the third inning here gets called for a balk. We talked about this last night, how they're really cracking down on the box again this year. And Hitchcock just gets a little bit undone. And it gets to be a messy inning. Cal Ripken with a sold-out park there to watch him. Knocks in his 64th RBI of the year. Sterling Hitchcock really didn't have good location, didn't have good velocity today. That is Geronimo Gill, first Major League RBI. There'd be more of that come from. That brought us to Larry Bigby. Leaves one right out of the plate to him. Another two out hit. Five zip Orioles and Sterling Hitchcock. They wanted to get him some work. Couldn't get through the third inning, though. To the eighth now, it's Gill again. He had five RBIs in the game. Two here. O's win it by the count of 11 to 2. The Yanks now have lost three in a row, but says Tino Martinez, there's no concern on this ball club. Douglas ended up with, in fact, his first major league win. Cal Ripken, two hits, two walks, and RBI and two runs scored. Add to that the fact that the Braves say Maddox hyperextended his pitching elbow in a bullpen warm-up before the game. First batter, Matt Lawton, base hit. And you gotta know that Greg Maddox was on a very short leash. Bobby Cox watching closely. Next batter, Edgardo Alfonso. He gets a base hit. Lawton to third, and Cox has seen enough. Maddox would leave after two batters with a hyperextended right elbow. Shortest outing of his career. He is not expected to miss another start. Mets get one in the first. Bottom six, this is Robin Ventura. And that's a home run off Steve Reed. Ventura's 21st. 3-1 Mets. Ventura 3 for 4. Timo Perez's solo shot made it 4-1. Top 8, Rick White facing BJ. Alfonso flipped to Ray Ray. Everybody's safe. Base is loaded. After an Andrew Jones strikeout, Javi Lopez lines a single to center off White. Shipper Jones comes in. They're going to wave Brian Jordan. And Atlanta is within one. So Bobby V brings in Armando Benitez to face Ken Caminiti in a huge spot. And Benitez gets the K to end the inning. Bottom eight now. Mets up 6-3. They got him loaded. Benitez has to bat now. And guess what? He knocks in Shiyoshi Shinjo, second career RBI for Benitez. He also tied his own team record with his 41st save and 43 chances. And the Mets win again. On August 17th, the Mets were 13 and a half games behind the Braves for the National League East League. Since the right. So if the Phils win this game, they get first place. But Clifford Floyd is going yard to right center. His first 100 RBI season in his career. We're tied at two. Top of eight, same score. Jose Santiago facing Luis Castillo with two outs. They can get out of the inning, but 
Santiago cannot get to first in time. Inning stays alive. Next batter, Derek Lee. He squibs one to right. Pinch runner David Berg, good John Hausman name. Bobby Abreu issues in the corner and Berg beats the relay. And look at that, just like that. The Marlins lead 3-2, bottom eight. Same score base as little Pat Burrell. Got under that one, as they say. And the Marlins win, so the Phils blow a chance to take over first place in the NL East. The Marlins improve to just 3-12. and 12. Both. Fan actually throwing an object onto the field. Uh, security, of course, a concern. You mean there was a fan out there in the outfield? There was. Scott Ellerton, the former Astro, pitched well here to Vladimir Guerrero. Yeah, how do you pitch to Vladimir Guerrero? He's 0-2, knocks him off the plate, way up and in again. 2-2, two, two, and then comes back way low and away, and Vladdy will chase. Jose Ortiz, Masato Yoshi in time. Watch it again. Great reaction. Yeah, I didn't know he had that in him, that kind of vertical leap. I didn't know a guy wearing 55 could move like that. <laughs> Bottom five, Brian Schneider to right. Two-run home run, his first career home run. The Expos win it 3-1. Ellerton the loss, even though... For the 10th, Ray Durham. To right center, Carlos Beltran is out there. Ugh. Affleck. <laughs> Ray Durham, to his credit, hustling all the way. Three base Aries into third. Next up, it's Tony Graffinato. And he goes to center. Beltran has it this time, but it's too late now. Durham tags up. Royals have lost 9 of 11. White Sox win here 5-4. Devil Rays We're playing the Blue Jays. Top six, seven, seven, Pascal Coco Puffs. gets Chris Gomez. Top seven, Toby Hall facing Pascal Coco. Puffs. Three shutout innings of relief for Coco. Puffs. Top nine, Rays down, eight, seven, Billy Koch Puffs. facing Steve Cox. Puffs. And Billy Koch gets his career-high 34 save, but he said after the game, they've all been ugly. He has struggled somewhat. First Major League win for Coco. James. 